the Oscar nominations officially announced, Julia Moore was nominated for Best Actress for this film, so I thought it might be worth checking out. <laughs> Still Alice. So Still Alice is a drama star and Julianne Moore as Alice who's this really intelligent lecturer then one day she gets diagnosed with Alzheimer's and her and her family are now dealing with it. Now going into this film, I, again I know I always think this with like Oscar nominated films but I always think it's going to be some really artsy, overhyped, boring ass drama. But not this time, I actually really like this film. Now I've got to say this right away, Julianne Moore has been nominated for Best Actress for this Oscar and does she deserve it? Oh hell yes. She's great in this film. I think this is the best thing I've ever seen her in. Best performance anyway. She's just so... It's just such a realistic performance. I mean, personally, I don't know anyone who's ever had Alzheimer's, but I'd imagine it's something like this. She's so good and really diverse in this film well as well. When she's forgetting stuff and she's, like, really panicking about, like, forgetting where the bathroom is or something, you can just see by the look on her face and plus by the camera work as well that she's just like, yeah, this is eating her away inside her. This is just completely tormenting her. So props to Julia Moore, she was awesome. But the supporting cast was really good as well. Alec Baldwin plays her husband, he was really good. Christian Stewart was really good as well. I mean, I know lots of people are here for Twilight. I personally have not seen the Twilight films because I just haven't, because I just choose not to. But she, Christian Stewart, she was really good in this film also. You don't really get enough time at the film to know the characters before, like, the, she gets diagnosed with Alzheimer's, you're like, okay, there's been, been no character development up to the part where she gets Alzheimer's, because it happens quite fast at the start of the film. She gets diagnosed and then she's like, goes through it all. I'm thinking, okay, I don't really care about her right now. But as it goes throughout the film, I start you start caring and caring and caring more about her. And you're like, oh, damn it, this is horrible. I care now. I guess I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff sometimes. Well, not all the times, but this is the exception. The exception. One thing I love in this film is the camera work as well. Like I said, when she's like, she, there is a part where she's looking for the bathroom. She can't remember where it is. And the camera's like following around her and stuff. And she's like uh, looking all over the place. And she's like really distressed. And it's all blurry around her as well. Like the depth of field is really well used. Especially like when she's, when she's lost and she, she doesn't know where something is. Everything around her is all blurry. And you just see her all really clear. And you're like, yeah, she is lost. She is losing her mind. She's just like, she hasn't got a clue where she is right now. I thought it was really, really good camera work. Really good. The music's really good too as well. I mean, like, sometimes it's really emotional piano music when she's, like, sat down thinking about stuff or when she's lost or something. It's, like, really, really, like, fast-paced-ish music and you can tell it's, like, really getting her distressed. Really good music along with the camera work. The two blend really well. I thought the ending was a bit unsatisfying. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad ending, but I was expecting it to end a certain way, but it just, like ended if that makes any sense so the ending kind of took it down a little bit for me but the rest of the film is still really likeable and really really good to watch so in the end still alice i liked it a lot more than i thought would well, julia moore was amazing in the film alec baldwin was really good christian stewart was really good the camera work was awesome and so was the music that went well with the camera work really emotional there are some parts in the film where you're like you're choking up a little bit because there's something's happening there's also some really inspirational moments too like there's a part where she's reading a speech and she has to like highlight all the sentences so she doesn't repeat herself really good stuff as well so yeah i liked it a lot more than i thought i would i really the more i think about it now that i think she is going to get she is going to win the oscar i personally think i haven't seen the other films apart from theory of everything where the the best actress nominations but i think she is a she's the one to beat for the best actress so i will give still alice a four out of five so have you seen Still Alice and what did you think about it and what's your favourite Julianne Moore role? Whatever your thoughts are, put them down there and if you like this video and you want to see more then click right here to do the subscribe thing.